Good afternoon, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva Trekker. I'm coming to you today with a little quick video about um, going to CDL school. I think this might be my part one. A uh, little bit of background about me recruiting. Um, I've been in this industry for about four and a half years now. Um, I also been, I started my own recruiting, independent recruiting services about a year ago um, that I do uh, recruit for over 50 companies, okay? I help out experienced drivers that want to change jobs or looking for that perfect fit. I also help out new students that are getting ready to go to CDL school. So today what I wanted to talk to you about is preparing or deciding on if you are ready and wanting to go to CDL school, okay? Um, the first step that I do is I also, I drive as well. A lot of you, all, all of you know that, that I drive a truck. I also, I am a trainer. I train females. I've been doing that for the last four years. And I also recruit as well. So with that being said, said I do recruit for three schools. Um, from the beginning and then if you have your license I have about six uh, companies seven companies that will take you with a license with no experience okay but this video is basically if you don't have a CDL or if you um, have a class a a class B and you're wanting to know how to get your class a okay um, if you do not have a CDL right now um, the first thing that I would need you to do is to go study for your permit and try to take your permit test, okay? All the schools, the three schools that I have, require you to have a permit um, before you come into, before you arrive to school, okay? Um, some states um, um, want you to have your DOT physical as well in order to take your uh, permit test or it goes like hand in hand okay so it's always a good thing to have that permit before you before you go um, one of the schools that I have has online training so the time that you are accepted you will be set up for online training to study fight for your permit so you can go down there and take your test okay before you leave um, mostly in all schools, they start on when, on Monday, Monday orientation is Monday. So you, you usually leave out, um, maybe that Friday or Saturday before you get ready to go to orientation. But before we even get there, we start with the requirements. Okay. Um, and it just depends on what school you go to. All schools have different requirements. So because you get turned down at one school don't mean that you won't be able to get accepted at another school so that's why i asked you to put everything that you have on that application okay uh, so that i know where it is that i need to put your application in whether it's accidents tickets suspensions whatever the case may be that you're concerned about put all of that on the um applications some companies go back three years some companies go back five years some companies go back longer than that okay also with misdemeanors and felonies some companies go by your conviction date some companies go by your um date of uh, offense okay so just be open with that and um, make sure you put all that information even if it's something if it's a question have you ever did something uh, you need to make sure that you put put that on there I know it may have been 10 years ago I know it may have been 15 20 years ago but if the question is have you ever did this then you make sure you put that on the application a lot of companies will just make you sign what is called a conviction form some companies just want to know okay and it's better that they know ahead of time instead of if you go to orientation and they find out about it they're gonna make it seem like you lied on your application they're gonna pull that application and if it wasn't there they will most likely send you home okay so make sure that you put that on there um, 
and like I say, all companies are different, okay? You will be able to find a place to get into, okay? Don't worry about that. Um, there are programs out there that will help you get your CDL, and also you have these schools, okay? Now, once we got the preliminaries out the way, such as suspensions, tickets, accidents, um, misdemeanor felonies, unemployment, okay, how many jobs you had in the plant past, all that is going to be on your um, application process that comes over to me, okay, so I can basically look and see what school I'm going to apply to to put you at that will be a better fit, okay. Uh, some of the schools, once you get through um, being upgraded to what is called um, where you're a first seat driver, you may be required to team. If you go to a particular school, all they have is teaming. You may be required to team for six months, okay, until you're out on your own. Or you may be able to upgrade to your own solo truck once you get finished training, okay? Now, once you decide that you want to go to CDL school and you have been accepted, thing is before you go make sure you have your permit with the schools that I have okay next I am going to ask you what date you would like to go okay if you're looking at going to CDL school six months eight months away wait till you get closer to time within at least less than 30 days in order to get me to get ready to go Okay, so if you're looking at something that's six months next year or something and you just want to ask some questions, that's fine. You can give me a call. Okay, if you're looking to go right away, then class starts every Monday. I used to, I like to have people in orientation at least within two weeks of them putting in their application. Okay, so when you put in your application, you have made that decision that you're ready to go to school you have done everything that you needed to do to get prepared to go off to school okay um, if you just don't know when you're gonna go don't know if you're going to be able to go really soon then calling and asking questions um, is the best thing that you should do um, once you get accepted um, all schools mostly provide you a bus ticket which is going to be on a Greyhound bus going to their locations okay um, some of the schools have different locations that you can go to depending on what state you are in when you're looking at a school look at to see what may be closest to you um, after you get finished training do you have to go OTR with them for a long period of time do they have a lot of dedicated accounts that you can be able to get back home weekly um, is there something in your area that may be local that you can get once you get finished your training and everything get that done look at all the dynamics before you choose that school okay some people like schools that are closer to them some people like choose schools because they have a different a lot of divisions within their company that they can go to um, some of them like it because they offer regional positions after they get through training so make sure when you're picking that school that it's a good fit for you I know a lot of times you'd like to look at you know what other people said about that school but just remember that your experience is going to be your experience it may be good it may be bad it may be indifferent but you always have to remember what the goal is the goal is to get your license and get out here on the road okay if you always remember that goal sometimes you will sacrifice and you're going to go through some things before you get to that goal okay um you're going to get a bus ticket you usually i set up bus tickets give you your itinerary um, let you know when you're leaving, when you're going to um, arrive at the school um, to get ready. They usually have somebody there to pick you up to go to either a hotel or you're going to the dormitory or what they have. You are going to be roomed with someone else, okay? Another stranger, somebody that you do not know, you will be in a room with them, okay? In the school process, usually you do not have your own hotel room. You will have someone in that room with you, <coughs> okay? You are going to be meeting people up there that's been in school the week before you got there, two weeks before you got there. There's some people that's been there a whole month and still haven't got their license, okay? Do not let that deter you. You are there to focus on yourself 
and to get the job done as far as getting your license okay do not get caught up in what everybody else is doing um, once you get off the bus you get your hotel room you get settled in you're gonna start going to class okay usually the first day of class they're gonna do what your hair test okay now most companies are not doing urine tests anymore they're going to the hair test okay um, you look up on everybody has their particular um, time period of of I don't know what the time period it has to be. It says on the application, have you ever used or whatever marijuana illegal substances within a period of time, okay? So you have to be able to pass that hair test, okay? Um, once you do that, you're going to do all the other things, your paperwork, everything that you need to do the first day, first week of class. You're going to be studying, um, getting prepared for your um, your your CDL test okay your actual test uh, you're going to be back and you're going to be learning your pre-trip you're going to be learning uh, driving around in a little city area or town area that they have uh, maybe learning how to shift if you don't get an automatic restriction on your license it's just the basic um, that they teach you the skills just to get your license you don't know a whole lot then you will get that later when you're on the road one-on-one -on -one with a trainer okay so a lot of you will say I didn't get no driving time I didn't learn anything you are there to learn the basic to pass the test okay um, everything else you will get one-on-one -on -one when you're on a truck with a trainer okay the amount of money that you need to have while you are at CDL school depends on you you know your budget you know what you like to have where you can eat ramen noodles or whether you can afford to go out and eat every day okay with me I had about a hundred a hundred and fifty dollars and that was with for two people okay so make sure that you know you have money for your incidentals so you're able to get the things that you need while you're at school be prepared to be away for at least about two months okay because it's going to take you about three weeks to get your cdl and you could be out there on the road anywhere between four to six weeks okay so prepare everyone around you that you may not be back for two months okay because if you're mentally prepared you can go ahead and focus on the things that you need to do um once you get your permit once you uh, once you got your permit once you did all the back end and the things that they need you to do and you start testing out okay you test out they will give you a couple of chances to do the test one company i have now is not going to send you home until you get it okay um once you get your license you're going to be paired up with a trainer okay now uh, whether that is a female trainer if you're a female or a male trainer some some companies they don't care if you're male or female they will put you with the opposite sex okay the main question that they ask is um the main question that they ask is it, do you smoke or don't you smoke okay um if you don't have a preference you are quicker to get the next available trainer if you prefer a female trainer and you're a female you may have to wait um, in order to get another female trainer okay it may be a waiting period between that time to delay you um, because there's not a lot of female trainers at these schools or at these companies okay um, once you go out with your trainer you will be out there for one-on-one -on -one, okay D learning how to uh, drive or shift or uh, whatever the skills that you need to be a solo driver you will learn that with your trainer okay some of the things that you don't want to overpack some of these things you can get at Walmart when you get to school um, I came out here I had a um, back uh, um, what is it a book uh, uh what is it a slumber bag a sleeper bag where you buy at walmart maybe it was 19 dollars, and and things zipped up and you got in it and that was it okay um try to pack as light as 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 you can because usually with my students i have everything that they have 
they're gonna have to fit on that top bunk okay um because there's not a lot of room in this truck okay some people give a person a cabinet like one of these cabinets to put your things in okay but remember it's not a lot of room on the truck um so just pack the necessity things you need like your incidentals your shower shoes the things you would you know to take your shower every day your deodorant those things um make sure you have clothes for at least two weeks okay because you may not get to wash they do have laundry and dryers at the truck stops but you may not have time to do all of that okay um make sure you are dressed and dressed for the winter like right now i have long johns on because it, i'm going to pennsylvania and it's cold up there so make sure you um layer up and have the proper clothes the proper shoes okay make sure you do that those are important um but you will be able to get the, all the things that you need when you come back from training and you have your CDL and you get into your own truck. Usually they route you home so you can get your things and get your license. If you have to go down to your own DMV to get your license, usually they will do that then, okay? Just keep in mind, you do not get paid at majority of the schools. You don't get paid until you get your CDL, okay? Um also you are not their employee until they hire you and that means you are not hired until you get your cdl and they say that you hire some people go to school okay and at the end of them getting a cdl they may think they have a job and for whatever reason they may decide to let them go maybe they feel like you're a safety risk or you're not a good fit for their company so they may let you go okay um so basically those are the steps that you're going to look at as far as um getting started and getting your cdl and getting out here on the road okay um usually your first year of your expectation of the money that you will make is going to be about i would say anywhere between fifty thousand fifty five thousand um a year for that first year okay as a company driver just getting out of school okay so keep that in mind it's not your money de de depends on you and how you grow in this industry okay uh, nobody can limit you you can only limit yourself and how you limit yourself is by uh, getting tickets getting into accidents and um, getting things on your M MBR and your PSP report, okay? But as long as you out here getting your experience, you can grow. Doors will start to open up after um, 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 you being in this industry a year. You're going to be able, you don't have a contract anymore. Um, all the companies, most of the companies ask you to sign anywhere between a 9 to 12 month contract, okay? You need that time at that location to learn your skill, learn what it is that, that what you're doing out here on the road. You don't need to worry about leasing, buying, all that kind of stuff. It will come uh, once you get your experience. But the main thing is to learn how to be safe out here on the road doing your first year of driving okay then you will figure it out and learn your niche of what it is that you want to do some companies will not even allow you to lease a truck until you have at least six months experience even if you go to another company they're going to require you to have at least three months 90 days experience before they allow you to as a solo driver before they don't allow you to lease a truck okay remember take your time out here you're beginning a new career a trucking career and the best thing to do is to get the experience and then go from there doors will start to open even if you don't choose to own a truck or you don't choose to lease a truck you can easily make great money out here as a company driver when you get the experience and keeping your record clean okay so i hope this video has helped you this is part one for to getting into school 
going to the training facility, uh, obtaining your uh, CDL, and getting on the truck with the trainer. I hope this video has helped you. Um, the next video that I'm going to do is going to be part two, and it's going to be about your first year in trucking. Okay, after you upgrade, after you, um, after you're a solo driver, or even if you team, people ask, Miss Tamara, um, um, you shouldn't team your first year. You should learn how to do it yourself. No, it's always good to have another person on the truck with you to have your back. Okay, to always be able to have somebody out here to help you. But in the same sense, don't let that disable you from being independent okay because sometimes if you're not husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend you are gonna may want to be on a truck by yourself okay so use that time as to become more independent even when you're teaming with another person you want to make sure that each individual person knows how to run that truck without bothering the other person, okay? You can't call somebody every time you need to back up the truck. You need to learn that. You are only hurting yourself because if you decide to go solo and you decide to go to a company that doesn't have a training environment, what are you going to do, okay? So to make this easier on you, learn this industry this is a hard tough industry okay and when you don't learn it and take your time to make the decisions that only you want to be able to make out here on the road then that is when you will be upset and be asking yourself why did you get into this industry so the easier uh the more you become comfortable the more you get your experience the better you will be in this industry and the better way you will make it work for you okay always remember that have your own plan before you get on that greyhound bus sit down and develop a plan of what it is that you want to do out here for yourself for your family and for the people that you support okay develop that plan and whatever it is work towards that goal stay focused on that goal Okay, so if you have any questions or anything, y'all, you know, I don't, I can't do a lot of the comments and things like that. So you always have my phone number. It's 1-800-620-9235. If I can help you get started, I'll be more than happy to do that. Okay, this is your girl, Miss Diva Trucker, CDL recruiter, CDL trainer, and a CDL driver. All right, talk to y'all later. Peace, love, joy, and happiness. Part two is going to be about solo driving, your first year experience, what the things you're going to go through when you're driving, how to prepare for that, and also we're going to get into the preparation of the CDL tests. Okay, I have all three tests. Oh, I didn't tell you about if you have your class B license right now. If you have your class B license right now and you want to upgrade to your class A, all you have to do is go down and take the combination test on your own. It's just one test that will get you a class A permit in your state, okay? Once you have that class A permit, you will be able to go to school and uh, get your class A license, okay? Um, it's a little bit easier for you all because you all been out here driving and the only thing that you don't have is a truck and trailer experience so it's a little bit easier for the ones that have the class B going to class A um, the age limit how old y'all asking me is uh, I had somebody call me that was 70 years old is 70 too old to go into trucking no if you're able to uh, 70 is not too old to go into trucking okay if that's something that you want to do I will encourage you to do that um, another thing is should I quit my job you know how do I quit my job to 
to uh, go into the trucking industry. Uh, I have some people that take leave of absence, okay, to see if this is something that um, that they want to do, especially if you're a bus driver or you have one of those seasonal jobs where you're off during the summer time. Um, that may be a good time to start CEL school to see if this is something that is um, a benefit for you and that's something that you want to pursue uh, into your career. But as far as uh, quitting, me telling you, you know, when, sh you, when you should quit or quitting your job, if you have some kind of um, thing about, you know, I don't want to just quit and go out, it's, it's tough, okay, because it has to be some kind of balance, um, you don't know, you don't know if you're going to like this industry, you don't know if this is going to be something for you, okay, um, so that you do have to think about and you have to be prepared because it may be uh, over a month before you can see your first check. Okay, real check over two months before you can see see your first real check. So you want to make sure that you prepare for that. Have somebody call and say, you know what? I think I'll go after income tax season. So you know, if income taxes season come up and you're getting this big refund or whatever, you may want to put that in the bank and then try to go to CDL school, okay, and try to live off of that until you're able to make it out here uh, on your own as a solo driver. So uh, I hope I helped you in this video, um, and I will be back doing some more one-on-one -on -one videos with you about beginning your trekking career, okay? Um, peace, love, joy, and happiness, and y'all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye.